Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do a couple little activities here. This is just a warm up activity to get you going. We we are in a process over the next day or two of making a transition from talking about science to talking about engineering. And there's a distinct difference between those two disciplines and we're gonna to try to model what those differences are. So right now I'm just gonna leave it at that, but just have that in your mind that we're, we're beginning the process from science to engineering here. And there's this little warm up that you might like to use with your kids someday. Um, we've used it for all sorts of different reasons, but um, we're gonna use it today just to see how well your communication skills are. So, um, you did get a box from me that had Legos in it. And hopefully you all took the little piece that was constructed and you put it back in the box and didn't look at it anymore. Please don't look at that piece. If you look at that constructed piece, all bets are off here. But you should have another bag with five pieces of Legos in it. So if you could all get those loose five pieces of Legos and have those in front of you right now, that would be perfect. Got it. And again, there is one that I already put together. Just leave that in the box. That's for later. All right, and um, I, I talked to a, a couple different people here today. Um, I believe I forgot to talk to one person, but um, I have confidence in, in our ability to roll with the punches here. So. Um, Jim and Rose have graciously agreed to be our consultants today. So everybody uh, wave to Jim and Rose. You guys, they are uh, in charge. They are, they are the consultants. On my screen, they're actually right next to each other. So that's perfect. So, so Jim and Rose are actually consultants today, um, except that they're a special kind of consultants. They are verbal consultants. So what I would like Jim and Rose to do once we get going is, um, they're gonna actually turn off their video and you're not gonna be able to see them at all. You will be able to hear them, but you won't be able to see them at all. All right, so Carol, I forgot to talk to you yesterday and I know she's got a big day ahead of her and a lot on her mind, but this is gonna take this off her mind. Carol has graciously volunteered, I believe, <laughs> but she's the supervisor. Uh, she has a department chair at her place, so I figure she's perfect for this. So Carol, your only job is this is I'm gonna give the group of 12 of you a task. Carol, when you are the only one allowed to communicate to me, Carol, when you are convinced that everybody is successful and everybody has successfully completed the task I'm about to give you, Carol, you are the only one who can go to the uh, reactions and put your thumb up on the screen with that little thing. So everybody's job is to check in with Carol. Carol's job is to check in with everybody. She's the supervisor. When she says thumbs up, She's given the thumbs up for the entire group. Your future rides on her thumbs up. <laughs> All right, so, so those are the rules. So, um, so if you want to write this in your notebook, we call it Say It, Do It. It's actually based on an old Science Olympiad event. If any of you are familiar with Science Olympiad or if any of your kids are involved in Science Olympiad or maybe you were when you were in high school or middle school or something like that. It's actually an adaptation from one of their events. So I always like to give them credit. They're great people at Science Olympiad. Um, but here are the goals and you can write these down or don't write them down in your notebook. It's up to you. I will leave them on the screen. So goal number one is 100% of the group needs to build an identical structure. And this is what Carol is doing quality control on. Carol's gonna make sure that everybody is identical at some point today. All right, you have two consultants. Now these two consultants actually have a completed structure. Jim and Rose, if you wanna get up right now and go get your box with the one that's already built, Jim and Rose can and are allowed and have to look at their one that's already built. Please don't put it on the camera though. Um, So our two consultants have a completed structure.
So our two consultants, Jim and Rose, are only allowed to talk and describe. So I will ask both uh, Jim and Rose, you can turn your video feed off now so that you can't see Jim and Rose. And then everybody needs to turn their audio, unmute themselves so that everybody can actually talk. And then Jim and Rose, once we start going, I'd, I'd like to ask that you kind of tilt your screen down or however your screen is so you actually can't see the group either. So Jim and Rose are not able to see the group. It's almost like they're on an old telephone or something like that, no Zoom. So Jim and Rose are there only in voice only. They cannot see you, you cannot see them, but you can talk to each other freely. Everybody good on that? The group can talk and see each other. So you guys all should be unmuted right now. Leanne and Chloe, you guys can unmute yourself. Uh, you guys are welcome to talk to each other as much as you'd like. Mics are open, be careful. Some stuff here. So I'm just gonna stay muted while they're outside. It sounds like they're throwing gravel and marbles and something. So I'm just gonna stay muted until <laughs> I, we, I, I need to be on. I, like I said, I'm on a construction zone here. All right. Uh, and last but not least, one person, Carol in the group is allowed to raise, when Carol is convinced, that our consultants have consulted effectively and they have communicated to you guys enough that everybody in the group has the exact same thing built. Carol's gonna put her thumb up and then we're gonna confirm that it's actually perfect. With that said, Jim and Rose, I'm turning it over to you. You can start to communicate with the group to have them build the exact structure that you have. You say it, they will do it. Ready, go. Um, Jim, let me start with the easy one. Everybody grab your white Lego, the white one long. It has those um, two lines of dots, you know, all these Lego dots. Get, grab your green one and put the green one on the first line of the Lego on the right almost your, it's hanging, it's hanging. So you do not put exactly fit on top, one lines of your Lego green one is hanging from the white one on the top. So Rose, it's, it's only one by two of the white on one by two of the green? Um, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. like one, only on the right, just put, kind of put it right on top of the first line. It's one half on, one half off, right? Yes. The green is one half on, one half off, yes. the white. Exactly, okay. exactly. Are we supposed to go through Carol? Uh, or can we ask Rose and well, You can ask Carol. Is. Carol's just part of your group, yeah. Carol's right. job, I, I thought the Carol's job is to were tell they... me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Carol's job is to tell me when she's convinced that all 12 of you have it built correctly. Okay, so we can ask questions of. Well, you can ask Carol any questions. You you can ask Carol. You can ask uh, anybody anything. We can ask okay. Rose questions. Oh yeah, you can ask him anything you want. So Rose, if you're holding holding the long white one vertically, the green one will be at the top right, hanging off the side. Right, it, it, it is hanging, almost hanging. So you only use the first um, front row that is attached on the top to the white one. And the okay. other are hanging, like half. Yes, like, oh no, I, I'm not supposed to see you. One second. <laughs> <laughs> I am not supposed to see you, I, I hide you, okay. And both Karen and Carol gave different versions of it hanging off the, off the side. Is it off the long, off the short end, Rose and, and Jim, or is it off the long side? It's off the long side. It's off the long side. No, no, it's, it's like, off the right. like this, right? Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, to they the can't end. see. It's hanging, hanging to the end, <laughs> to the end of the right. Long end on the short end of the... Of the white block, yeah? Yeah, short end of the white block, that's right. There we go, two by two is flush, not two by eight. 
Um, so I, I think she's saying this of, of the, the two by two. So Cal, two of the connections, not just one. And she said off the end. Right, and it is hanging like two, two, two of those connection or dot is hanging, is not connected, the green one. It's uh -huh. from the short end. So Correct. only two is attached to the white, to the very end of it, very end of the white. Param yeah. You have the same thing, Russ, that everybody has. Paramita, I think you need two, two of the holes on the tip and it's lined up. I, I had it like this before. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so I, okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, is it lined up? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did everybody get it right? Thanks. So. <laughs> we all have the same thing, so. Yes. Don't quit laughing at it. We must all be no, right. I'm laughing with you. I'm sorry. I'm laughing with you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fine line there. <laughs> What's next, Bill? Okay, you guys ready? Okay, yeah. yeah. So if you hold that white piece of Lego, there's actually eight rows of two, right? Four, five, six, seven. Correct. Seven of them are exposed now because one of them has that green block on the end. Right. Seven. Correct. Okay, so hold that block with the green piece farthest away from you okay so you're kind of looking at it straight down your nose and the green piece is farthest away from you now you have two pink pieces you have a light pink and a dark pink does everybody have their light pink light pink so now we're going to take from the white lego we're going to put this it's going to overhang also one block on the right side so it's going to take and click over three of those and so one will hang over the edge on the right side of that as you face it green side away from you it's going on top or underneath on top Ooh, same, as the green. same as the green on top of the white but only three of those four um dots are going to be covered so one of those is going to hang off the edge just kind of like the green one, except it's only on the right side because it's half the width. So, so you're going across or lengthwise? Lengthwise. Good question. Um, Jim, yes. I have a question. So they need to be on the opposite side from the green. That's yes. what they need to be. On the, the opposite, opposite side, side of, of the green. The yeah. Thank you, Rose. Can everybody hold theirs up to their camera? I could, but my camera's off. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. make sure one is hanging. One of these dot, what is it called? The fitting for the light pink color is hanging from that short end. I, think I have a question. So Jim, if, it, if, it, if you're looking, if, if it's running away from you with a green at the end, yes. is, it, is it on the right or the left side? That on you're the looking? right. Oh, it right. is on the left to us. Am I right, Jim? Well, I'm. I have the green part going away from me. So as I okay. look at it lengthwise, it's on the right. And only one is overhanging. That's correct. Okay. I think we're good. You know what? This is then like you how a... you hold it. <laughs> We've got reverse. Some of us are on this side, and some of us we're My... we're not the same. So what happened is mine is on the right side, green is on the right side. No, 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 no. Put green away from you, um, Rose. Yeah. Put the green right. side. Away down from the you. length of the thing with the green on the far side. Is right. your pink on the right? Yes. When you look at it, it's on the right. Yeah, pink is on the right, and it is when pink. You look at it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As your face so we're on the short yeah. end, right? So short every, end. Everyone hold yours up like mine. You said that, Russ? This is Russ, Russ speaking. And so, like, Karen, yours and mine is on opposite sides. I don't know that means I'm, that doesn't mean I'm wrong, or it doesn't mean you're wrong, but, but, right? 
So, and uh, Kyle, yours is, you and Karen's were on the right side. Lee, Leanne, yours is on the same as Kyle's, right? So, so we're hearing two different messages. So oh. my understanding of this is as I'm looking down this, the, this, and I just knocked off my green, needs to be on the right side. And I think I was backwards. And I lost um, my green. Actually, no, except Jim it was on the right correct. side. It was going away. If you're looking down at lengthwise, Jim is with the green farthest away from you, the pink right. block should be on the right. On the right. That's correct. Could some of our screens be mirror images? I was going to say, Zoom has a feature that mirrors your mirrors what, so it's not backwards. Now so mine, you can see Karen, raise image. your right hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so hers is on the, it's showing differently. Uh, okay, the right yeah. Side. Everybody raise yeah. your right hand. There, there is a mirror setting in, in Zoom that you can set up. So if you raise your right hand, yeah, that's a good way to do it. That's true. All right, so right side, point, point to the right side for you on your thing and let's see if we all agree on that. That's going to make it hard for Carol. Have fun with that, Carol. <laughs> um, if then, anyone wants to change their setting, they can do that. They can do it right now, I think, when they're in. Is it easy? Um, yeah, I think if you go to, uh, go to where it says the little carrot next to stop video, if you go to video settings, you should be able to bring up your and see the um virtual, under virtual. my under my video it says mirror my video if you check that you can make sure that you have the right well, the correct checked. advantage is it under so options? uncheck it right so it's not mirrored that's good because then when i'm fixing my hair i'm always hitting the wrong side of my head i like that thank you <laughs> where is it if it's you go um there's a little carrot in the bottom left hand corner of the zoom window it's where it says stop video there's a little yeah. it's next, next to your to mute Click uh, next to the mute thing. And then go to video settings. And then there's a little mirror my video. All right. So let's all everyone raise your right hand and let's see if we ended up the same way. <laughs> right. Cal, show your show your right hand. It's not ready. Where's your right hand? So so Cal is reversed. I I reversed too, but I'm I think mine is reversed too. Everybody's is reversed. That is <laughs> what as long as next to the pink, let Carol look and see if it's next to the pink. That's the right. Okay, that's my right. Put your right hand next to the pink. Let's see. Don't you guys know your right <laughs> from your left? <laughs> no. I did no, not see this zoom ring. Rose, you're not looking at the video. I like it. <laughs> we can't see. Like if you guys did it right. Oh, Carol's oh. looking. <laughs> okay. So. Are you guys ready for the head? Yeah, I think the we're good. Yellow head. Okay. I am going to leave the hard one to uh, Jim for the bottom one. Let me just tell them the, the yellow one, Jim. The, the head you have with the glasses on. So you got this light pink, right? Like Lego that you put right on top of white one. So count from the very far end. Number two is where it goes. On the pink? On the pink, light pink, yes. And is it facing forward or facing, or I mean, facing the green or facing the pink or the side? Not the, not the second one facing the green. No, um, no, I'm saying the, the sunglasses, which direction should oh, they? I don't know. Like, is mine is facing away from the green, like if you want. Okay. But according to the, according to uh, Lego, we have, okay, well, let's do identical, right? It is actually facing um towards um the you know lego line that we didn't have the pink you know the facing that direction it doesn't so i like it's looking way. off the end of the thing huh like rose you said it's it looking like that? it's looking okay, straight away from the green right away from the green yeah away from away the green. From yes. the, actually if you want identical like identical that yes. face is facing um literally you know the you put the pink Lego on one side of this um, white, the other line is empty. It's facing to that line, you know, the white Lego. It's, it's not facing to the green or it is not facing back or to the side. It's facing towards the white Lego, like the line. Is that what you said? I, I don't understand. Jim, can you? 
Okay, well, so maybe chime in because I don't with understand the, uh, my analogy where I was holding up the white piece. Like right. at my nose and the green right. piece was the farthest away from me. Right. Okay. And we put the pink one closest to us. Right. right. Okay. Hanging one over. If you go back from that, the second block on the pink, which is also right over the white, and then the glasses are facing you. Okay. They're directly towards so the you. Um, yes, okay. If the, if the okay. green is a green is to the end, then the head is facing me. The opposite of the green. Opposite of the green. Great. Yeah. 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 That's good. I don't know. Right, right. Okay. You know, Rose, guys, my apologies. I, I apologize, apology. Rose. If, hey, Rose, your sunglasses might be slightly different than Jim's. I wasn't totally perfectly <laughs> careful. Oh, I apologize if Rose's sunglasses are slightly different, 10 or 20 degrees off. Californians. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. Like, hey, wait a second. Little... Yeah. All right, you guys ready for the last piece? Yeah. Good? Okay, so again, I'm holding it. The guy on top is looking right at me. And I'm gonna take the dark pink piece on the white blocks. I'm gonna start again towards me. I'm gonna count back one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna stick that Lego uh, perpendicular to the white piece so that there's one block sticking out on each side but it's on the fourth row of the white blocks and is it on top or on the bottom on the bottom good Ooh, question good question it could fit on the top but it's not it's on the bottom because there's your other pink piece is hanging one off so it's like a little stand the yeah uh-huh exactly it's a little stand yeah make sure so now it's like the, the guy's middle, playing a plane or something. Yeah, two in the middle actually um, launch, like click in that le Lego. One from each end is like open for the yes, dark totally pink one. It. Yeah. I think yeah. Bill was failing yeah, at making it. a duck. <laughs> yeah. That's your ice drilling platform. <laughs> 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 So I'm holding mine like Karen. So the red, cause the red is going on the bottom. Uh, yeah, the dark pink goes on the bottom. Okay, that's cool. Number four, you you do one, two, three, four, and that's it spans it on either. So there's one overlap on either side of the white. Exactly. No? Yes. Exactly. Okay, yes. You got it, Leanne. Can I see yours, Oh, so Carol now has to look, right? Because we're done. Ramita, that's perfect. Thank you. Your direction was good. Mara, <laughs> can I see yours? Jim, you shouldn't be able to see Paramita, though. Yeah. <laughs> can we see everybody now? No. We have to get the thumbs up from Carol. You can see Ramada. Yeah, I got that, but uh, I have a problem with uh, putting this. Okay, I'm pretty sure we got it all. I have it. Uh, Carol, there, there's a lot riding right. Oh, there's the thumb. The thumb is up. All right. Hey, uh, <laughs> Hey, uh, Jim and Rose, why don't you come join us and hold yours up and you can see how well you did as consultants there. All right. There we go, guys. Can you see? No, put it close to the camera. Oh my God, it's just too white. You can't see the color, huh? Hold Back on. up a little bit, Rose. It's too right. close. <laughs> Very familiar. Looks like. Yeah, we got Jim's. Jim's looks good. All right. You guys got it? We did. I have a lot of light, so it is hard to see. <laughs> you, you guys did right. Can we look in our box now, Bill? Uh, you can look in your box. If you want to look in your box and double check, you can confirm for sure. Identical. <laughs> <laughs>
That was fantastic. Hey, good job. Bill, by everybody. this is going to be a challenge because, explaining. Because I was looking at it, you know, down my nose, <laughs> trying to, to make that um, uh, basis, you know, that we're looking away from it. So um, everyone did a really good job and the questions were awesome. And that was that, that looking down your nose thing was was the key, and then figuring out that some of us were on mirror images. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Thank you. I have a big nose, so. Hey, can every can everybody hold theirs up in the uh, screen and uh, maybe give a thumbs up for uh, Layla or Lauren, and they're going to capture that image right there. <laughs> nice. 100%. Carol, excellent job supervising. Consultants, excellent job consulting. Engineers, excellent job listening and putting things together. So that was good. So Bill, do you think this will work very well with the kids? Oh, like I know it. Of you are teaching in high school? Uh, I know it will work really well with the kids. It works great with kids, with adults. It, it, it works well with everybody. Um, and, and do, we get, do we get extra points for having to figure out the mirroring on the, <laughs> you know, on the video feed? <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, like I said, we're making the transition from moving from science to engineering. And remember, all of the science is done in Antarctica. And all of the labs are back here in the States, thousands of miles away. And often, I mean, University of Madison is where all the drilling headquarters is, where they develop the drills, they build the drills, they maintain the drills. So these guys are constantly talking to each other across literally the entire world trying to problem solve. And uh, things like that mirror image glitch, that, that, that's a perfect kind of thing. <laughs> you know, that, that is exactly the kind of engineering problems where it's like, oh, here's the, here's the solution to the problem. Um, so yeah, so the real life analogies here are just are really strong. Um, teacher to teacher, uh, there's multiple ways you can do this. You know, we ordered these blocks directly from Lego. So we just ordered, you know, 40 green ones, 40 white ones so that everybody had identical. If you just buy a box of Legos, it's a little bit harder to find matching sets depending upon how big your class is. Um, so you can keep that in mind if you want to do this yourself. Um, th the other thing is we opted to do this where everybody works together, almost like a group team building activity, um, which is why we had everybody with the exact same Lego. You can also do it where you just put a bag together with pieces and something put together and they all don't have to match. But then actually the way that Science Olympiad does it is people sit back to back and just communicate with the person behind them. So then you don't have to have everything all identical. It makes it a little bit easier to put sets together. But you know, personally, I love doing it as a group building activity. So in your classroom, if you wanna get people communicating together, talking together, laughing a little bit um, and doing something really, really strong engineering wise just working on those communication skills uh, i think it's a great activity so um. a, a question just because you know we always like looking at accidents bill louise what's like the worst failure you know that like wrecked a season that you're you know that a drill you know you forgot the wrench and the drill didn't run right you know that sort of thing the, the no. oh i was gonna just go ahead bill uh, I was going to say, you know, Bess is coming in later on today and she's going to talk about drilling futures. She has a lot of experience drilling on the ice. And Mary, who you're going to talk to, Mary is actually the person to ask that question to because Mary is in charge of all the drilling that takes place in Antarctica, Greenland, Denali, everywhere. So I'm sure that Mary has some great stories. I would love to hear a story from her. All of you ask drilling. Um, I was just going to say on my team, the first time we went down, we got down there to... Um, we were actually surveying streams in the dry valleys and we used a total station. And the one guy, scientist that said, nobody can use this, it's just me. This is a really expensive machine. And then he had a problem with his PhD defense and he didn't get to go. And all of a sudden we were on the ice and had to learn how to do it with no training. That was not good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I was just gonna add that um, we've done this uh, uh, kind of an experiment before, um, not with fancy Legos, but just with an image, you know, that one person has drawn simple shapes. Um, but we've kind of stepped it in a different direction to where you can't communicate with the consultant other than just to say repeat. Um, so, you know, if I said draw a spherical object in the upper left portion of your paper, um, it really makes people 
critically think how how they want to communicate. Uh, so other than repeat, um, it's it comes up with some very interesting combinations. But I think it's a perfect explanation to uh, or at least understanding of of why science is so different from engineering. The end goal is the same, uh, but how we communicate and especially how we write is is way different. Good yeah, point. So that, that left hand side of your notebook page for your classroom ideas, please fill that side up with all sorts of ways you can use this. Um, I know that we, there's a strong possibility we teach virtually this fall and my wife and I, my wife is actually a consultant and uh, she does team building things with people all the time and she uses this Lego activity as part of her workshop. However, she was saying, well, what can we do virtually because I can't send all my people Lego. She works with hundreds of people sometimes. And like Karen said, you could draw it or you know, your kids are at home, they do have knives and forks, salt shaker, things that everybody has in their household that you might be able to put a little list together like that and have somebody just build something in front of them and they all have to construct it out of just typical household items might be a nice thing if you want to try it virtually with your kids as well. So 